guys and welcome back to another M Crater tutorial. Today what we're going to be covering is loot tables and how they work with blocks specifically. So um, the method should be the same for how um, blocks and plants use loot tables. So I believe I'm using a plant for this particular tutorial. You can use blocks as well. It should use a very similar method if not the exact same way. All right, so let's just kind of break a few of these uh, plant blocks that I implemented. I'm actually using this uh, same texture for the cave plant so that you guys can vote for. Her. So if you guys want that, then you can easily do that as well. So if we break it, it will give us a random piece of die. So as you can see, they're completely random. There should be, I think, a few different types of them, uh, maybe four or something. Yeah, there we go. We got a purple one now. So basically the drop is random uh, when we break the block itself and uh, it can be customized through loot tables. So let's go into mCreator and we'll take a look at how the loot table set up, the name of the actual plant, and we'll get start from there. Alright, so the plant name is just plant and that's actually really important when we're creating our loot table. If we go into the plant properties and then go to, I think it's just properties, there is an option right here where it says use loot table for drops and then underneath it, it has some help text. It says if checked, you need to define loot table for the drop. Now if you click on the little question mark here goes a little bit more into detail on how to actually use this. Um, the most important part is the section right here where it says create a loot table mod with the registry name and then it says uh, blocks slash and then this block registry name and then namespace mod so it needs to be under the mod namespace and the type of the um, actual drop is block. So this is very important for actually following because if you don't follow it, then it won't work. So what I've basically done is I've created a loot table that uses this particular method. So you can name it whatever you want. That won't matter for the actual element itself. But the important part is the loot table registry name it needs to be blocks slash plant, which is the same registry name as the plant name right here and then what we need to do is put it under the mod namespace so this mod namespace right here and it also has to be the loot type uh, loot table type needs to be set to block now this is for plants specifically and uh, you can basically set up the loot table however you want you can add more pulls if you want like that add a few different options and so on you can also adjust if it is a random drop so a minimum roll you can set this to zero and it will have a chance between zero and one to basically um, generate a item from that particular list you can also adjust the weight of the items as well as the maximum and minimum count that that item might drop so uh, yeah, so that's basically the plants. Let's quickly take a look at blocks and it shouldn't be too much different I'm just gonna just spam a whole bunch of stuff in here and then we'll go to properties and under blocks itself There is use loot table drops. It has the exact same text if we open it up and it basically says uh, Blocks slash and then the registry name and it should be under the mod names namespace and it also has to be under the type of block as well so both plants and um, blocks use the same format like above so just make sure that the part after the slash is the registry name of the block that you want to basically have the loop for and it should work perfectly fine so outside of that, that's all there is really to using loot tables for plants. Uh, there is another method for generating loot through procedures. I have covered that a little bit in the past in some of my more advanced tutorials. I will 
consider doing a tutorial uh, for that in the near future on randomizers and custom loot and stuff through procedures. But I thought I would showcase this first because it's probably the most easiest way to actually set up a loot table for your blocks and stuff. So hopefully you guys enjoyed. If you're new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe, comment down below, rate the video, and I will see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Peace out.